Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will explain you about the pause and resume functionality in the Salesforce screen flow. So first let's see what is the pause and resume functionality. So we can understand with the name that uh, this function pause or resume a flow. So for example, you are creating an account record with the help of a screen flow and there are so many fields in that screen flow and some of the information you ha don't have as of now to create that particular record. So what we can do with the help of this pause functionality is that we can pause the flow for a while and when we get the details we can again we can again resume the flow from the flow interview and the flow will be started exactly from where it was stopped so let's move ahead and see the functionality of the pause and resume function and before starting that i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course and also i will give the course link in the description from where you can access it so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early birds so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this course you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to so right now i logged into my salesforce developer account and before going to the flows we have to first set up the pause and resume feature for that go to the quick find box and here search for process automation and from the options in the drop down select process automation settings so in the process automation settings you have to scroll down and there is a field name so here you can see let users pause flow so you have to activate this checkbox and then click on the save button in my case it is already activated so from here now we will navigate to the flow setup for that again go to the quick find box and here search and select flows so here i will show you how to add the pause and resume functionality with the help of a screen flow so so here i have this existing screen flow that will that is creating the accounts so this is the screen flow that i have created so the, and this screen flow is going to create the account records so to add the pause and resume functionality i have to edit the screen element for that click on the screen element and then click the button edit element and on the right hand side you have to click on the configure footer and here activate the checkbox show footer so as you click on the show footer it will show the pause and finish buttons and you can also use the customized label for the pause button for that you have to click on this button use a custom label let me show you this also and the value that you will enter in this field it will appear at the place of the pause so as of now i am going to use the standard label that is pause and then at last click on the done button now we will see this uh, functionality in the debug window for that uh, i have to click on the debug button let me save this flow with a new version because it is better to debug a flow when it is in the inactive mode and here we will click on the debug button so here i have four fields and to check the pause functionality we will enter just two fields and then we will pause the flow and let's see what happens so here i am entering the account name as test one and here i am selecting the account type and without entering the two fields i am clicking on the pause button so as we click on the pause button so it will ask the reason to pause the flow so here we have to enter the reason and after entering the reason click on the ok button so here you can see the message this flow interview is now paused so as of now we have paused the flow and and now we will see what we have to do to resume the paused flow interview for that we will again go to the quick find box and here search for paused and failed flow interviews and then click on it so here we can see this is the flow interview that we have paused right now so click on it so in the setup of this flow interview you can see the details and uh, like the interview label parent flow information and the reason for the pause so from here we can also delete this flow interview and to resume this we have to simply click on the resume button so as we click on the resume button the flow will again start from the point where we have stopped it so here we can see we have left the phone and email field blank so now i will enter the phone field and, 
and now we'll click on the next button so from here we will navigate to the accounts tab to see the record is created or not and you can see in the accounts tab this is the account that we have created now with the name test one so this is how you can use the pause and resume functionality in the salesforce screen flow so this was all about the pause and resume functionality in the salesforce screen flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye